Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser. And I am Johnny B. And, and together, together we, we are Modeling, modeling for Advantage. advantage. <laughs> So mate, it's October, and October. I'm, a, I'm a bit of an imposter because I don't actually have an orc army. Boo. I've got a few uh, frost, orcs for frostbrave Yeah, yeah, you've had man. those out, yeah. So a little bit. But we're going to talk about, about, it wouldn't be orcs without kit bashing, right? That is a lot kit of Kit bashing, appeal. red things, yeah. trucks. So trucks, specifically. In Pogson, last time he was here, had a battle, he left his miniatures. So I'm going to pretend that this one's mine. No, I'm not really. This is, <laughs> this is Pogson's truck. So this is the newish... Kit. This is the new, yeah, this is the, the new current truck. Kit. This is yeah, the current current truck. truck. It's got these little boarding ramps. You have got your your gunner on there. It's a nice kit. It looks very orky. There's all kind of bits bottled on and fuel. So much um, bigger than their is, previous kits. That's for sure. But yeah, but the box has pretty much built this as the kit comes. I love the big wrecking ball. Oh yeah. Like, against a dude who's actually trying to save his own life, this ain't him anything. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But. But it's but it's, it's cool. It's a very orky thing to do. That. Very orky thing. So that's the kind of con fairly conventional. And there's no. I don't mean that as a criticism. No, no, no. But that's what you get. In the box. That is the kit. If you make the kit, you get something that looks a bit like that. I think he's done a nice job of it. He has done. He likes to shove a few boys in the back of there, drive Whee! it off the table, and smash me. Do you know what I mean? Thanks. Exactly. And it's got one of them guns that orcs have that just makes a lot of noise. Lots of anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. sure. Roll Big loads shooters, of dice. mate. Don't do anything. Love that's that. orcs, is it? No. But turns out down in Milton Keynes. Yes, yes, Milton Keynes, uh, local which, store. Which store is that? So this one is I was gonna say modelling for advantage, but we no, haven't got, a, we shop haven't got yet. a shop in Milton Keynes. Uh, right? War Games Workshop but shop is the in the place. Spare room. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's a link to the store <laughs> up in the If you want to buy Shameless some stuff from me, plug. mate, that'd be awesome. So War Games Workshop is a store in Milton Keynes. War Games Workshop, yeah. War Games Workshop. Yeah. And I think they have another one somewhere else. Maybe. Just have a look. Anyways, painting competition. They did a competition for a charity event. Good charity, mate. And this was for Adbrooks Children's Hospital. All the needy children. Right. Mate. Because it's yeah, legit. Stuff is there. But anyway, because, because I'm a monster as we approach Christmas, I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't, didn't really know about it until he was already on with it. Yeah, I was already already done. Um, on and they've been anyway. running lockdown competitions like every month, haven't they? Yeah, to get some engagement in the community they would yeah, be doing. Yeah, and and, and you've entered categories. and been placed once or twice. Uh, placed once placed on once. a random one. Yeah, and uh, it's been a lot of yeah. tears involved in Johnny B. Man, this I've been crying. But I'm a sucker for more punishment. He keeps going. It's like, and that's mate, why I'm still here. He's still here. Still here. Turns out Johnny B. lives. So. <laughs> The nature of this competition was a bit different though, wasn't it? It was a charity thing, so what, yeah, what, what was, was, the, was the deal? So it was a tenner buy-in, you could tenor. literally just put a flat tenner down, you get a truck, boom. boom. Um, but obviously, you donate a little bit extra as well, right? Oh right, okay. So there you go, that's it, that gets you in. But if you wanted to, you could basically buy an orc truck for £10, which is a huge Ultimately, discount. Ultimately, yes, you could just yeah. buy a truck for £10. And I don't think anybody did that, charity. but yes, it all went to charity. All everyone, went to charity. Every, I think everyone put 20 bob in, or whatever, all right. to get a truck. So you got a truck, and, and you had to build it, paint it. Build it, paint it, jobs are good. No restrictions. So, what did you do? I made this wonderful thing that you see spinning before you mate so my head is <laughs> gone now you just got a spinning truck provided we've got the technology to work hopefully so tell us what about about so this, about it looks broken my mate. truck i've stripped it right back because you're less lazy, things, you want to paint it all exactly mate. and even then i still left mold lines on the wheels yeah. um so this is inspired in my head by the old uh, battle wagon battle wagon of your which was basically just a flat plate yeah. Four whacking great wheels and a crow's nest. And it had a crow's nest. Ah, uh, you see? So you built a crow's so nest. So I built the crow's nest out of what should be the gunner cupola, or whatever you yeah, call it. Yeah, so this, this if, if you, you see look that. on the there's, there's a the gunner position, it's in a cupola. A bit like the M3, with the, where they have the 50 or the 30 cap. Yes, very much like Very that. much inspired by that. But you built a crow's I nest out of that. I stripped that cockpit out, made a, made a crow's nest out of that, and yeah. I've used second edition orcs as well. So the big shooting Are they metal, metal goths? No, no, the proper plastic goths out of the second the edition box set. Is Makari in there? Makari is not in it. Could Gaz but there fit is in the a back goblin. of that truck? You'll see the goblin in top. Second edition Gaz Gold could fit in the back of that truck. <laughs> Modern Gaz is mm, that truck. Yeah, bigger All than right. Anyway, that's my one. So do your boarding ramps move? Yes, they do. Are they fully like articulated? They, yeah, well, <laughs> take it off the spinning thing. Yeah, You've had yeah. enough of the spinny thing. It's got 
woo, ramps and stuff, and you've got the thing, you've got the little gobber at the top, out of focus. Yeah, you might it. have seen it, but there was a squig in there. Where was the squig? And he's meant to be sitting on the side there. That is the world's teeniest squig. Yeah, I mean, the hawks backpack. are pretty small. That's how it was back then. They're, yeah, did it. Yeah, people, historically, started. people were smaller than us. Not than me, <laughs> but the normal people. Yeah, yeah. So I was not the only person that did that. No, Jimatech had a bit of go as well, and he sent us in a video. Let's have a look. Boom. Thanks, Kaiser. I also went to the same competition as Johnny B, and this is my first time painting orcs. Let's have a little look. So this was a charity competition up in Milton Keynes. Um, this was my first time painting them, and it was such a good deal, and for a good cause, that I had to jump on board. So I went with more of a grimdark sort of feel. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty grimy, not quite the box art look that John goes for. Uh, I am colorblind, and so my orcs are a little bit uh, jaundiced looking, but overall I'm pretty happy with it, and might paint up some more orcs in the future. So that's not all. There's a little bonus here. Uh, my girlfriend got on board, because it was for a good cause, and she likes making gooey things. Let's have a little look. So my girlfriend normally paints Nurgle things, uh, zombies and the likes, and uh, she did a little bit of kit bash in here. Quite handy with the uh, the old Yoohoo glue and the slime. I like goo. She likes goo. Whoa! Bonus feature, mate. Two for one, mate. Two for one. Two for one. Now, which one did I like most? Oh, uh, the, the second one. In fact. <laughs> <laughs> no, I quite like uh, Green's uh, palette of colour. You said Green. This is Johnny B straining to say something positive. No, it, it really is all right. I quite liked it. It was a proper the dusty. A snot. Out the, the second one, the can. that was a winner. That was a winner, mate. Because it had snot and stuff. Because it had stuff. proper snot on it. So good on but you. That was just you who squeezed out and left. Yeah. I'm doing that. She's she's actually pretty, she's got some pretty damn maybe. good. Yeah. So um, that was James. That was James Green and uh, or Jim Otek and Mrs. Jim Otek. And Mrs. Jim Otek, uh, yeah. Or, or whatever. <laughs> It's nice, it's nice. I mean, Caroline, I think her name is Caroline. So Caroline. when, when, because your missus paints a little bit as well now. She like, used like to, she ago. has not in a long yeah. time, but she has had a little. Was that in them early devil. days when you felt you needed to do things together? I think so. But then you realise that you don't like the things that she likes to do. She we just, like we don't we actually do. like each other, we've, we've discovered. Well, I mean, I've met you, so I understand. Exactly. Rosie's a nice girl. She is a nice girl. You're a pasty ginner who's I'm going nowhere in life. With, exactly. But She's somehow, just waiting for the cheap rent so she didn't have to work full time. That and she really likes broken things. <laughs> like you. Like me. And, and the many wounded animals that you care exactly. for. Exactly. Exactly. If you've got a stray pet or an unwanted pet, I'll take get it in, in touch with Johnny B, mate. He'll take it in. Very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> mate. Man's got to eat. Last thing, though. So, back in the day, there was rules for, for custom mag vehicles and Mr. James Workshop... A sentence in something he had a crack at. That was a big thing. Check this. Hello, James Workshop here. Welcome back to Kit Bash Corner. So here we have a mech wagon, as it was called in 6th and 7th edition, from the mech list that they had, which had uh, death treads as troop choices. It was crazy. So this could take a variety of different custom equipment. You can see that there is a riptide weapon used as the engine in the back there. So it did have a uh, custom force field. It had a pair of twin-linked rocket launchers. It was just just the mutts nuts, this thing. It has a variety of different bits on it. A lot of it is made out of plastic cards. The Top is magnetized on so that it can spin freely. Um, this is from Cromlech. We've got some Blood and Skulls industry tracks on here. I just put a lot of, uh, well, not effort, but <laughs> I spent a, a really fun whirling dervish of development creating this thing one time, probably five or six years ago now. So I'm definitely planning to resurrect it for use with Gazgol and his knobs in a 25 to 30 power level game. Um, so look forward to seeing that on the channel in the future. Probably painted black. Wow. Okay, a lot of styrene died in the process of it making that vehicle. It's a lot of plastic card, but that was yeah. some good work though. You did yeah, all the teeth bits, bits from all over the place. Boop, 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 boop. Big, big fake teeth are very much a motif uh, of modern art for the okay. win. And some of the yeah. third party uh, components. Yeah, there as well. it's only got bits from Cromlech or Spellcraft. Cromlech right? and That's I can't good. remember the name. So these these mech wagons then. In the previous Do you know edition. what? Yeah, I can't remember specific rules, but I think there was a lot of free reign in what you could actually use for the model. And was it genuinely played like that? Because I mean, yeah. in recent, in eighth edition, they had like build your own Land Raider, and they had build your own. It was very much battle wagon, a legacy, but like nobody sort of touched it. It was like that's clearly broken those rules. Let's no, just... I think it was set. It had set stats and points and rules, but 
regards to the modeling right. as an orc you could do whatever the hell you liked it was yeah. looted wagons as well you could do yeah. that so it's grab a rhino grab a leman russ even knock the turret off like yeah. it's been blown up oh. have some walks hanging out Wait, you can do mm. whatever you like i'd like to see him get some pen so he's actually got a developing orc army it sounds like it. He, he, took, he mentioned gasgo there so when i got the prophecy thing wolf, the wolf thing yeah. he took the gaz and the makari yeah I can't remember whether he took the Mega Knobs. I've got the Mega Knobs and You've the Knobs. The Mega Knobs and the Which Nobs. are still on Sprue. Still Anyone on Sprue, want to get them? Obviously. Um, so he's got he's, he's got those. I think it might be because he wasn't sure whether he liked the Knobs or the Mega Knobs or something. But he's trying to build like a Gaz Knob Force. Yes. An gaz Elite Force. force. Yeah, yeah. To work with Gazgol, I think. I mean, I don't know where he's got to it with it. But look, that was that was what we had to share. For Orc yeah. So a little bit a few kit bashes here and there and a little bit of a story about the, that charity. Do you know how much it raised in the end, John? Is this a question where you're gonna say no? Um I did know, but that was a few weeks ago now. Yeah, mate. Time's um, it was over a thousand, possibly under really? two thousand. Yeah, they did all right. Yeah. So uh, a lot of people went for it. Well they did a, the the main dude there um did a twenty four hour paint a thon as well. And oh, I watched him do mate. a bit of that, mate. He churned out two K Primaris Force. It was pretty good. But yeah, a lot of people really Was it just really too far to World Dreadnoughts or something? No, it was like a proper Indominus and everything. But it was yeah. good, good show. Right, good spirit. Mate. That was us. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Thanks for making it to the end, guys. Please consider supporting us, buying merch, or something that Kaiser Senna would be great. He does have 12 kids to feed. Thank you.